Don Crows in Hammersmith. Having a good time? Yeah. yeah. And I'll speak at once at the back. It's okay. This isn't a talk show, but you can say hello at the beginning. <laughs> totally cool. Who's having a few drinks tonight? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. We need a few more just to get a little bit of Dutch courage and speak up here. Do you get that drunk on a Friday night and you have to drink again the next day just to feel good with yourself? Like that hair of the dog shit? That's me every Friday night. I drink that much on a Saturday morning, wake up like, oh my god, I feel like shit. I need a drink. Oh, this feels good. Oh, this feels great. Oh, not again. <laughs> like the worst problem with me with drinking, it's not when they call out last drinks, it's when they call out first drinks. And I'm there at 11 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Hello again. <laughs> that was my best joke. <laughs> so I, uh, I'm a uh, stay-home father. Pretty cool. I, uh, I don't have a wife or kids. Uh, <laughs> just very ambitiously unemployed. <laughs> as a comedian, I can't hold down any job. I did actually, funnily enough, as an Australian, I did have a job as a tour host. Those tour guides on those London buses, you know those buses that go around London? I was a tour guide on the London bus. I'm not even born in this fucking country. How the hell did that happen? <laughs> Imagine people surprised. Let's go to London and see all the sights. G'day, mate, look to your left. What the fuck did you just say? <laughs> and as a comedian, I joked too much. And one lady couldn't handle it. She took it really serious, yeah? Because I'm joking a little bit too much. I could just overhear her going, how dare he come to our country? How dare he come to our country and tease our country? <laughs> I said to her, how dare I just come to your country and just tease your country? I go, listen, love, 200 years ago? <laughs> <laughs> I literally shut her up. She was like, oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm not the one you need to apologise to. Okay? The brothers back home need a bit of love. So that's basically the situation. Fucking so crazy. So I packed that job in because she just loved to see when I fail. Because you're on top of a bus, it's going to move, and sometimes you might not say the right thing. You have to look at the building and point it out. If the bus is moving, you might miss and say something wrong. I could over here and go, he got it wrong, he got it wrong. Die, motherfucker, die. <laughs> Holy shit. And if she's from the country, what the fuck is she doing on the bus in London anyway? <laughs> job I had anyway. <laughs> just a quick question for the fellas in the crowd. Have you ever masturbated to gay porn for a month just to make sure you don't like it? <laughs> I'm about six weeks in. <laughs> just wanted to see you laugh at that joke. Test the waters, test the waters <laughs> before you jump in the deep end. <laughs> so I uh, recently found myself, I've uh, been a girl, I've been a woman, which is pretty cool. It's the first relationship I've really ever had. I've always been a single guy in my whole life. Yeah? Shock horror. No. I've always been a single guy, which means now I'm seeing this girl, I'm still a little bit of a pervert. It's just ingrained. Guys will understand. Women will be like, okay, this better be funny, motherfucker, all right? Travel 10,000 miles for this gig here, make me laugh. Like, she'll still catch me on the occasion, and little, little, little eye heel just tinker away and have a look at somebody else, and she'll just confront me. Aaron, when you look at these ladies, it's like you're undressing me with your eyes. And it's scary when she says that. But it's so close to the truth, you know what I mean? How the fuck did you know? But when she, when, when a guy looks at her, if a guy looks at her, I get really uncomfortable. I get really insecure. Because if a guy looks at, like most, I'm sure a lot of guys will feel the same way. If uh, another fellow walks past your woman and just looks, you don't worry about her. You instantly see what's in his head. And you see what he's doing to her. And you see her legs up in the air. And you see them just going for it. And she's enjoying it for some reason. I don't know why. And you're helpless. You're stuck in the doorway. And you're just like, it's like there's a third person now. Because all of a sudden you're seeing you from a distance. And it's just zooming into you. You're just like this girl. <laughs> and this dude just goes, <laughs> So yeah, when she tells me that, I get upset. <laughs> no, I don't know what to do anymore. It's crazy. It's not going to be woohoo. Jesus Christ, you know. I reckon there's a little bit of room for racism. Just enough where you go, hey you, and then you just shut the fuck up right there. <laughs> I wrote that one today, you can tell, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh no, that didn't mean anything apart from the joke I just said then, anyway. Moving right along. 
Nah, so that's all cool you guys came out to comedy. It's awesome seeing live comedy. Sometimes if I'm not watching comedy, I um, might go to the movies. Went to the movies the other day and uh, watch the previews. Previews are always cool. You know, there's a, a preview for another Batman movie already. There's another Batman movie. I mean, why not? You already got Batman, Batman Returns, Batman Forever, Batman Robin, Batman Begins, Batman The Dark Knight, Batman The Dark Knight Rise, and you watch next Batman! <laughs> And I heard at one stage they're going to be having Justin Timberlake in the Batman movie. Imagine Justin in the Batman movie, like, hey, I'm Batman, gotta go, woo, be so fast to walk away. Because <laughs> 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 all Justin's songs sound the same. It's like he's got a couple of black guys in the background of the keyboard, pumping away the beats, and he just says, girl, every five seconds. <laughs> girl. <laughs> All you're doing is a keyboard and just do the exact same thing. <laughs> and girls, don't feel left out. You can change it around. <laughs> and those people that can't make up their mind. <laughs> girls and boys, yeah. Anyway, you got it. That's the way I did it. <laughs> the Backstreet Boys knew that. Am I bisexual? Unless you're Bon Jovi, Bon Jovi, you know, he comes out singing like he's 18 years old, you know? I'm 55 and I still get pussy! Bam, bam. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know where Bon Jovi gets his lyrics from, because he doesn't even write lyrics. He goes to the recording studio and does mumble shit. Slam by the movie, boom by the movie. That's a good way that down, right? Slam by the movie, boom by the movie. That's good, that's good. <laughs> All these film clips just have him, particularly in his early film clips, right? I got two more, was it the flashlight to go or, I don't know, or, he's always got these, in his early days, like particularly like living on a prayer, you know, like, oh, we're halfway there, oh. <laughs> If you see his early film clips, they're so poignant, so uplifting, so inspiring, right? But when he, he, he loses the direction, <coughs> the camera pans around him, like, tell me it's the way down the road, oh, we're halfway there, <laughs> country music, I don't know about country music, man. Imagine if the Beatles were like country music. I can't have all gold jokes, alright? I'm gonna leave you a little bit of trash just to see if I can bring you back on my side. Clearly, it's not working with you. It's still a bit tense. I don't know how you feel. I'm addressing your woman with my eyes, don't worry about it. Just tell me why, I really am, like, don't worry about it. <laughs> Mom and he is muscly. Oh my god. Okay, I'm out of here before I get stabbed up. You guys have been fantastic. Thank you very much, guys and girls. Have a